Now, let's see the pseudo aneurysm of the left ventricle. Initially, what is a pseudo aneurysm? It's a situation where the patient had a myocardial infarction and this infarction was big enough to produce a local pericarditis and this pericarditis had an inflammatory fibrosis on that infarcted myocardium that happened to rupture and would cause a hemopericardium and a cardiac tamponade but was restrained by the adherence of the pericardium. This adherence is gradually forced by the left ventricular pressure and becomes dilated. It's a pseudoaneurysm because what is covering here is not endocardium but pericardium. The danger of this situation is that this region adherence to the normal pericardium is fragile and may rupture any time, causing a hemopericardium and death. So, once diagnosed, the patient should be taken to surgery right away, differently from the true aneurysm. The characteristic echo features of a pseudoaneurysm are different from a true aneurysm, where the size or depth of the aneurysm is similar to its neck length. In pseudoaneurysm, the neck is relatively short as compared to its depth. Notice here this pseudoaneurysm at the left ventricular apex. Watch the size of the neck, quite small in relation to the size of the aneurysm. When we see an aneurysm with a dilated cavity expanding the kinetic wall and a short neck, it's really a pseudoaneurysm. Another example in a short X, notice that the lateral wall right here is in interrupted as is the other side of the same wall. You see the same thing in the latter case. The apical wall is interrupted in one side and, and the other. Here is the rupture site. And in this case, the same thing. The lateral wall is interrupted at one side and the other at the rupture site. And here is the pseudoaneurysm with its size longer than its neck. Another important diagnostic feature of the pseudoaneurysm is that different from the true aneurysm where there is a progressive thinning of the normal wall that continues as the wall of the aneurysm. In the pseudoaneurysm the neck protrudes showing clearly that there was a rupture here and you may see the aneurysm side by side with the neck what is never seen in the true aneurysm where the neck follows the wall of the aneurysm and is never side by side with it. Here an example of posterior wall pseudoaneurysm. It's an apical long x view. This wall here is interrupted and protrudes. The other wall is in the other side and you see a large aneurysm with a sh short neck and a thrombus inside. Another example here of a pseudoaneurysm. See how it expands during systole. It's ruptured wall and its small neck as compared to its size. Here another pseudoaneurysm at the lateral wall with its flow in and out and rupture protruding walls and the large pseudoaneurysm.